Hey, cool. Just a little more time. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the rafting camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Pan Am has a great ass. I mean, they spent some time rendering Pan Am's ass. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm sorry. All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. <laughs> well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? 
Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There! See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. to do it. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Better than dirt now. Good. This is over. Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. This will get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now.
each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Whoa. Damn. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Wow. Unexpected. An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me all to count us. Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Bear? Lemonade? Bear me. Oh, bear. Yeah. Come on. Still a merc. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. <laughs> me too. Does this mean I don't, I don't get hand, to see though, her anymore? Who said this one was our last? Okay, good. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Come on, they're... You're not gonna let me do it? If I want? really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it over. Panem, I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I, I remember I... We were talking, then suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. 
V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? The something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Definitely not that simple. Relic's also keeping me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No, no. The chip's data is infecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic. I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Is anything wrong, V? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. See you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, I ain't going our to office jail. still stands. Seriously? If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here Him? for you. And that, yeah, at nice. least, we can agree on. Nah. If you need anything, you know where to find for real? us. Oh, guys, I love these people. Oh. Ah, nomads. Uh, uh, my family. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Hey, back from the old place. Welcome woods. back to the land. You really of the safe here though? About time sleeping for now, decided yes. to join us. Militech does not hey venture this far. And our hey vantage guys. points really are much hey. better. So but you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But, I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love Panama. <laughs> the Undercados, uh, my family. <sighs> I just want to see where she's going now. Hi there, V. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, I really need this order. Uh, well, what's up, V? No, I have cumin and chili. Yeah, uh huh. You hear about yeah. Santiago? Used to be a nomad. Well, you know, cyber oh, plantations kind of like buying shoes. Ever heard of our Lord and Everyone needs something Christ. to do. Why's that run on one of the same needs as a solo? Friend of mine did it. But job with if him you spent a lot of time in the Badlands, friend you got. It's worth investing in He's a legend, all right. Hollis wouldn't say it was my camp, role model, but, but well, compared to the city surrounding the area, it might look deserted. Place. But less folk doesn't mean you'll be safer. Here's what I recommend: move quietly. Don't draw too much attention, else things can get real ugly real quick. Uh, don't know, don't know. Uh, you got other business? I, I too have got things to do, you know. Yeah. Is that true? Want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Let's see. Any day now. How much longer? Okay. Doing good for now. All right. We can conversate later. And the caldos. Love it. Yeah, sure. I'll go to the afterlife. I'm going to try to... Dedicate some time. Uh, do maternal tomorrow. Might try to get some in tonight, but Cyberpunk, you guys. Oh, come on. Anything? Gave us incomplete info again. Know how they're geared out. Big fucking beans. We got no idea how many are holed up in that bunker. Wait. Up with Hellman. Doubt me, end. I know. Hey, Sham. Cutting half a Whoa, Night City's power to down an AV. You, That's how shit around here used to get done. Now look, we send drones up first. Make sure we don't land in a pool of putt running. How are shit. things done now? Conservatively. Everything's cold, calculated, less improvisation. 
That sounds like you missed the good old days. Huh. If you went back in time and told me I'd be a fixer, I'd have laughed in your face. Pan Am deserves most of the credit. Wouldn't happen without her. I know. That's why I recommended her to you. Is that all? Ask you a personal question? Sure. But ask at your own risk. Used to know Johnny Silverhand. What was he like? Uh... Johnny? Where did that come from? Seemed to be as many rumors about him as there were 50 years ago. And not all of them gelled together. No, you two were close. Why I asked. Huh. What was Johnny like? Strong. <laughs> Arrogant. Uncompromising. He'd burn down half the city just to prove he was right. And burn the other half just for fun. He was like a kid with a box of matches and a can of chew, too. Tough luck. You don't know the half of it. Anyway, doesn't matter. I won't speak ill of the dead. I was wondering... Wouldn't happen to have any gigs for me. Nope. Nothing. Really? Not for you. Rogue, are we cool? Cause there are other fixers I can call. Be my guest. If all you want are small time smash and grabs. See the regulars? They've got dozens of jobs behind them. They trust each other. Now put yourself in my shoes. How do you think it'll look when they find out I'm putting a crew together with you in it? You had one job with Dex and fucked it up spectacularly. You know that's not true. Who cares? This isn't about skill, V. Only thing that matters is reputation. Why do you think you work alone? Look, V, just do what you do best, all right? Harsh. Fucking harsh, man. Get you anything? Oh, fuck. I leveled up. All right. I'm level 20. Um... Man, I gotta be, I gotta be the coolest. Let's You know, I also have some weapons back at my, uh, my place. Yeah. 
go. No match at all. <laughs> Nothing matches. V is just... But whatever. Alright. Let me go back to my place and Let's see. I wonder if I was just completely fucking buck naked if uh, that would make its way into the dialogue. If people would actually like, react to it. So this is some heavy duty shit. I'm just I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep Fenrir. I'm just not gonna get rid of Fenrir. Um Can I upgrade Fenrir?
you know what? I'm just gonna stick with the. power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crash landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional losses. The company has already announced a forceful response against the nomads' camps. After the break, President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Netherlands. Yo, 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 my two shroomers and rulers, Mr. Weiss is here.
heard you're home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. in the bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. V, go teach these assholes how to behave in my bar. Hey, back off. Hey, door biz here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really? Hmm, wonder what Mama Wells would say. What'd she do when she sees you two gonks fucking up her joint? My bets, she'd whip out her shotgun, blast your heads off. Hey, right, come on, Pedro. Not worth it. Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk! Well, what... what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? If you would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh... Bartender got the oh, rest. Oh, cool. Oh. Okay. Circling him like sharks on a scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, V. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, oh, shit. since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Ren. Right. Name's Cynthia. Mm -hmm. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or, I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night. She wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Well... But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. 
Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay. Fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. I kind of I hate it when they just automatically switch you to uh You never learn, do you? Oh, is it chat time? Uh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wisdom. Get this over with. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusions. Namely? People don't change. Especially not people like Kirk. Think I don't know? Am I lending Kirk cred for a new Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No. Of course something stinks. But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look the other way. Gotta find what's stinking up the joint and why. Otherwise, you'll step right in it. Came up in these streets, Johnny. Can take care of myself. Sure, hope so, V. I can take care of myself, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> All right. Queen of the roof. Be right back, guys. Okay. Hey, you. hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? 
Holy shit! Barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Yeah, it sure. sounds too good to be true. <sighs> fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts, see you at the spot. Later. Happening in the area? Interesting. Around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No future. Where they end up? Behind bars. Or in the ground. This neighborhood died a long time ago. How do you feel? I lost my son. How am I supposed to feel? I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have... I... It's just... I don't even have his body. They say that funerals are for the living. Not the dead. How can I say goodbye if I can't even give him a proper funeral? Mi propio hijo. It's okay. I'm well. can't talk about this now. Okay? Have a drink? Ahí viene. Betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus. Ah, oh, really? There's an...
apparently nothing close. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. around something weighed on her maybe it was my gaze keep this up i'm gonna fucking puke narrate that Seriously, what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying.
Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Doesn't matter. Seen enough. But... Huh? What the hell is going on? They say lies have short legs. But liars... Oh, their cams go all the way up. Oh, where's this guy coming from? So that's it. Hang on, man. Let's reload that. Cause I mean, it doesn't seem like she was cheating on her husband. She was maybe having some shit done she shouldn't have. I don't I don't know, but didn't seem like she was like fucking the rip doctor. See what's going on. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Ah, got you now, hey, you. you sons of bitches. What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's... it's not like that. I... I can explain. Go on, then. Let's hear it. Okay, for... for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. 
A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I, I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, oh shit. It, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. Life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Life is an absurdist drama. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So... my son... That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo! How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years! It's not about the skin or... whatever, it's... that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but... The woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. Where are they? That was pretty good. I mean... Hang on.
Everything's fine. I had to call my dog a gonk. Ugh, what a gonk. New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. Skippy, seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Mm. Hearing within norm. Possible issue, low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. Oh my god. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Oh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner? Checking memory. Resources available, 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request, no objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. No! Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what, bum, be dumb. What are you bum. doing? <laughs> I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 Alpha is running correctly. All right. So what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature: automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Stone cold killer. My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Ugh. Selected mode. Stone Cold Killer. Happy slaughtering. What the fuck? <laughs> Skippy. Scales to the user's level. Electrical damage. Shock chance.
Okay. That's pretty crazy. I gotta have Fenrir back though. Swap those out. Okay. Wow. Skippy. Why? Why was this fucking schlub carrying this gun? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. Yeah. So... Let's go there. I mean, if it's... Skippy. Client who needs to get a certain shot. Probably is the shards in the skull of a courier who's currently stretched out on a crematorium slab. Details are attached. Okay. Yes? Can I help you? How's it going? Hey, you got any special offers? Depends. You want to cremate somebody? Or make a purchase for yourself? Don't you think it's a little too soon for me? Always better to be insured. If you pay now, you can get a 50% discount with our latest cremation salvation package. Come on now. That's just too good to be true. But it is true. The details are in our complimentary information booklet. I'm a member of the Grayer family. I'd like to see the body. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Access to the morgue is employee restricted.
cyber psychotic attacks are a manifestation of societal degradation. You got no right. You hear? No right. The difference now is that people don't just have a gun. Down, guys. And psychological disorders. We've seen this with rats. When we replace one third of their body with cybernetic equivalents, they become five times more likely to display psychotic tendencies than the control. Sheesh! Well, I just hope I don't meet any of those cyber rats on the subway. <laughs> but, and I can't stress this enough. Alberto was an exceptional I, man. I already do. Exceptional. How rude! In hard times, he was stoic and humble. And in good times, his smile lit up the world. Today, we say our goodbyes. But we say them lightly. For we know we will meet again. In the house of our Lord. That's all right. <clears throat> Very high. Fuck off, fuck off!
I need you to grab some goods. Rare ones, scandium rods. Fell into the hands of a junkie who's got no clue what they're worth. I couldn't bear to see them go to waste. Read the attachment and get to work. figured on that <laughs> quite a bit above my level okay oh man guys Go there. Passing through. Whoa. to achieve peace if there is a demon never leaving. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You 
start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. It sure is a no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. of the earth element spirit of nature mother earth i send you greetings we are of one blood i am you you are me oh mother earth i and all other creatures from you created cleanse my body and soul from pain sickness impurity and the negative energy from negative people world dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, Feel our bare feet touch the soil. 